Holy Chapel service will start in...
are still laying there, but you know what's best about all of this? A long time ago, one Sunday morning, he got up. Amen. Yeah. He got up with all power. Amen. And he's sitting at the right hand of the Father. Amen? Amen. Amen. That's who we came to worship today. Amen. Because Amen. He is worthy of all of our praise. Amen. Amen. Let us look to our responsive reading for the morning, Psalms number 122. If you have your Bibles, please turn there. And when you found it, please say amen. Amen. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city that is compact together. Where the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, unto the testimony of Israel to give thanks unto the name of the Lord. For there are set thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. Peace be within thy walls and prosperity within thy palaces. For my brother and companion's sake, I will now say, Peace be within thee. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek thy good. For Jesus, we are not ashamed. We are not ashamed. We are not ashamed. We are not ashamed. Of the gospel oh, of Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, we are not ashamed. We are not ashamed. They realize how good the Lord has been. Why don't you say thank you? Somebody knows he's been better than that. You say thank you. Somebody, somebody, somebody along the way received a hallelujah praise and you couldn't wait to get here. Put those hands in the air and just shout hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Turn to your neighbor, look your neighbor right in the eye and say, neighbor, I love you. There's not a thing in the world you can do about it. Turn to another and share that same sentiment by saying, neighbor, I love you, and there's not a thing you can do. Oh. Trap. 
tragedies are commonplace. All kinds of diseases people are slipping away. Economies down, people can't get enough pay. But as for me, all I can say is thank you, Lord, for. Folks without homes, living out on the streets, and the drug habits some say they just can't be. Muggers and robbers, no place seems to be safe. Every step of the way And I want to say Thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me People are slipping away. Economy's down. People can't get enough pay. But as for me, all I can say is thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me. Folks without homes live being out in the streets And the drug habits some say they just can't beat Muggers and robbers, no place seems to be safe But you be my protection every step of the way And I wanna say thank you Lord for all
to the book of the prophet Isaiah. And the 26th chapter. Thank God for all of these preachers that are here. Pastor Webb and Pastor Thomas Jr. We thank God for all of you. 
When you found that place, just say amen. I will be reading a plethora of scripture beginning at verse number one, continuing through the eighth verse, and it reads thusly. In that day shall this song be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. Salvation will God appoint for his walls and bulls. Open ye the gates that the righteous nation which keepeth the truth may enter in. Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusts in thee. Trust ye in the Lord forever, for in the Lord Jehovah, everlasting strength. For he bringeth down them that dwell on high, the lofty city he layeth low. He layeth low even to the ground. He bringeth even to the dust. The foot shall tread it down, even the feet of the poor and the steps of the needy. The way of the just is uprightness. Thou most upright does weigh the path of the just. Yea, in the way of thy judgment, O Lord, have we waited for thee. The desire of our soul is to thy name and to the remembrance of thee. Amen. I want to talk briefly from this thought and subject. It will be all right after a while. All right. Let's go. It will be all right after a while. We're living in difficult times, times where you can be sitting next to one another and not know the trouble that the other is enduring. We're living in a time that is so calloused with evil until if it wasn't for bad news, it wouldn't be any news at all. Do I have a witness? What do we do? Or what have we done to cause such difficult times to visit upon us? It's not just a thing that's given to the city nor the state. And the irony is that it's not just given to the nation, but worldwide, trouble is running rampant everywhere. So much so until many have begun to question the validity of their faith. Preachers are now turning out to be entertainers. Entertainers are trying to preach. Do I have a witness? What used to be good is now bad. And that which is bad is now good. It's a wonder why our young folk are so confused. The reason is because our forefathers have eaten sour grapes. 
and set the children's teeth on edge. We're living in perilous time, so much so until literally, I don't know what I would do if it were not for the Lord. Everybody that looks good, not doing well. Can I get a witness? And therefore, um, the irony here is that you must be careful of your posture and your precepts uh, because what goes around comes around. I've never thought I'd live in a time where we were so disarrayed in our literacy that we could not understand the difference between right and wrong. We find ourselves celebrating that which is wrong. And unfortunately, we have the tendency uh, to resist that which is right. The problem is that it's so easy to do wrong. And we're living in an age, and in an era, and you better watch this AI stuff too, this artificial intelligence, an intelligence that knows not God, an intelligence that is created of its own means, and one that is built to deceive, and you can have money in the bank one day, and and be broke the next day and not having spent a dime. Can I get a witness? The problem here, so says the prophet, is that we're going through some difficult things right now. Ah, but the day is going to come that we who love the Lord will sing a new song. Do I have a witness? I remember as a child, I remember as a child, they used to sing a song that I'm glad. Trouble won't last. Always. Anybody remember that tune? And today I must say I'm glad that trouble may visit, but it can't stay. Do I have a witness? I'm glad, I'm glad that Lord helped me sometime what is good uh, seems to be deceiving because it does not always look like you think it ought to look. I remember when I was young, I thought uh, every girl had to be pretty. You don't hear me. Some are. Some aren't, but I found out that beauty is only skin deep. And it does not apply only to the female sex, it applies also to the male gender. There are some women that won't touch an ugly man. You know I'm right about it. I don't want that man. Look at him. Well, sometimes you got to learn how to appreciate the one you're with. Can I get a witness? And so, and so, and so, and so, sometimes that, 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 that imagery that you have in your mind of that robust one, that strong one, that one that looks good, I wish I had a witness. Boy, he sure is something. Until you get him home. Y'all gonna pray with me today. And then some have the audacity to look for all of the good things in the wrong places. You may call it meddling, but I call it preaching. Yeah. You run out 
to the neighborhood bar. Happy hours trying to find a man. Get so happy you take him home with you. Run to church on Sunday morning and say, Lord, I got me one. I want you to fix him up now. And the same thing go with men. Men that are rubber rousers and no good for anything. They have enough sense that when they are interested in being married, they come to the church. Because the women there are modest. Some of them. Judas, Judah is one that is given to this type of lifestyle would cause Isaiah to look beyond the immediate and entertain the promises of the Lord. You see, Judas was saying, uh, at least Isaiah was saying to Judah, God got this. And no matter what you're going through, it won't last much longer. If you don't believe it, read the book. Trouble won't last always. He said, in that day, shall this song be sung in the land of Judah. I've had some hard time, but in that day, we'll sing a song that we have a strong city. Do I have a witness? Yes, Salvation yes. will God appoint for the walls of this city and for the bulwark of the same. In other words, God is going to keep us by the strength of his grace. Y'all yes, 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 don't hear me here. I thank God for the grace of God because I discovered that his grace is sufficient. Is there anybody in the house that ever noticed that? It doesn't matter how bad you are. God has a tendency to look beyond your fault. And then he'll still supply your need. Mm. Some have it in reverse. They ain't going to have anything to do with you until they uh, look beyond your need just to find your fault. Everybody got some fault somewhere. And it's not because we've been so good that God has ingratiated us. But it's something that's called love. Love is... A verb, it's an action word. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can't love yes, uh, without doing something about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how come many get away today by simply saying to qualify one, you have to ask the question, what have you done for me lately? Isaiah said, open the gates that righteous nation which keepeth the truth may enter in. I don't care where you look. The truth is not welcome everywhere. You pay attorneys to get the truth. And they just come and pile another lie on top of another lie to the point that you can't trust nobody. I wish I had a witness. And I don't mean any harm here, but uh, we have to be careful of who we put in office to represent us. One of Israel's biggest downfall was that after God led them out of Egypt, across the Red Sea, and through the wilderness and got on the other side, 
The first thing they wanted was to be like everybody else. And I don't mean any harm, but you know that's what's wrong with the church today. The church then got to the point to where we want to be like everybody else. People will call you old fogey. If you don't dress in the proper wear. When the Bible teaches us that God is not a respecter of person. It's not what you wear that enters God. It's who you are. I wish I had a witness in here. And so, and so, he, he, he says, thou will keep him in perfect peace. But now you got some responsibility, you know that? He'll keep you in perfect peace if your mind is stayed on him. You just can't always have it your way. People want to run in here late and get out of here early. I wish I had a witness. Don't mean any harm, but excuse me for a moment. It's not Burger King. You can't always have it your way. Sometimes you have to be willing uh, to kneel with the humble and to say all of my help comes from the Lord. A strong city. Says Isaiah, we shall be. If we can just hold out and keep our peace, God is going to fix this thing. I don't know about you, but I've waited on the Lord for a few things, and he never showed up when I wanted him to. But there's never been a time that I wanted him that he didn't show up. He may not come when you're warning, but you will want him when he comes. Do I have a witness here? And sometimes we, we, we fall categorically into that old familiar frame that we can't see the trees for the forest. In other words, we're so busy looking at how somebody else is getting along until we can't remember who we are in the midst of the forest. Oh, God is good, I tell you. He's willing to redeem the remnant that will sing praises unto him. And he's willing to make the city, even that we live in, impregnable. He's able to make your enemies leave you alone. There are so many devices now until, uh, Lord, help me, even I will, I, I'm surprised sometimes to see people still carrying Bibles because uh, we got so many ways now that we call ourselves honoring God. But let me tell you something. There's nothing you can do without the word of God. The word of God is sure. You may not like it, but the Bible says it's sharper than a two-edged sword. It'll cut going, it cut coming back. It can separate even the marrow from the bone. It's so sharp. What shall I do? This is the same prophet that said you ought to wait on him. If you wait on him, he'll lighten your load. If you wait on him, he'll make your enemies behave. If you wait on him, uh -huh. he'll turn your midnight yes, into day. Yeah. Right. Won't he do it? Yeah. I don't mean any harm, but I've had my ups and I've had my downs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But nobody can do me like Jesus. Yeah. Been through some storms. Yeah. Been through the rain. Yeah. Oh. Had some heartaches. I might be the only one, but I've had some, my share of pain. But through it all, God has been good to me. 
Oh, I wish I had a witness. Therefore, therefore, he says that uh, the perfect peace are those that can keep their mind on him. Trust in the Lord. Yes, sir. Trust in him. I don't mean any harm. I don't mean any harm, but if you look around the 24th chapter and the 10th verse, you, you're going to find where it says that the city of confusion is broken down and every house is shut up and no man uh, may come in. Isaiah was saying that we're in trouble. But if you hang on a little while, our help is going to come. Not only that, not only that, uh, he talks about perfect peace. Perfect peace, according to the 48th chapter and verse 22, says that there is no peace, said the Lord, unto the wicked. There's no promise to the wicked. But his favor is shown to those that have trusted in him. Do I have a witness? One songwriter said, I will trust in the Lord until I die. Here it is important because uh, we must find ourselves uh, situated in God's grace. James says in his writing, first chapter, beginning at verse number five, James had a word for all of us. Are you listening? And it's there where James talks about if any man lacks wisdom, let him ask of God that give it to all men liberally and upright is not. If you're asking, I wish I had a witness. He said he'll give it to you. However, there are, there are some conditions. Verse 6 says, but let him not uh, ask wavering. Let him ask in faith nothing wavering. For the man that waveth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. And then verse number seven of James one, he says, let not that man think he shall receive anything of the Lord. And then he closes it out by saying a double-minded man. Anybody with me? problem when you got people that's this way sometime and that way other time. We used to call them wishy-washy. Come on, talk to me. You got to know how to stable your course. And you can't stable it on your own. God is my threshold. He's my rudder in times of a storm. He's my peace in times of war. Do I have a praying church? And you might wonder, even as verse 4 said, trust in the Lord forever. For in the Lord, Jehovah is everlasting strength. Woo, somebody ought to say amen right there everlasting strength. Isaiah 12 and 2, he says, Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song, and he has also become my salvation. Anybody with me? And in that day, ye shall say, praise the Lord. Call upon his name. 
declare his doing among the people and make mention that his name is exalted. Sing unto the Lord, for he has done excellent things. This is known in all the earth. Then he said, cry out and shout. Thou inhabitants of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel in the midst of thee. So I stop by to remind you that no matter what you're going through, God is willing to help you through it. Do I have a witness here? Sometime you got to take your mind off of what's in front of you and lift up your eyes unto the hills from whence cometh your help. I can't speak for nobody but myself, but my help. Anybody ever had any difficulties? Look at your neighbor and say, my help. Now, that's important that you know where your help comes from. Some folk walk around with their head down. Woe is me. But I want you to know that when despair would strike, when trouble arrive, when my friends don't treat me like they ought to, Lord, help me when my family don't have time to even give me the time of day. My help. You don't hear what I'm saying? My help comes from the Lord who is the responsible one who made the heavens and the earth. I don't mean any harm here, but stop by to tell somebody <laughs> all of my help comes from the Lord. <laughs> Is that all right? <laughs> and I've had uh, some good days <laughs> and uh, I've had some bad days. I've had some days, uh, great God. Uh, that it really didn't pain me much uh, to want to get up out of bed. Uh, great God. Uh, but through it all, God has blessed me. Through it all, uh, God has kept me. Uh, through it all, uh, God has made a way for me. Uh, a way uh, out of no way. Uh, isn't that just like God? God will supply your every need. Won't he do it? And I've got to close here today, but I'm so glad trouble don't last always. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, hang on in there. It'll be all right after a while. Do I have a witness? After a while, the war is going to be over. After a while, I wish I had a praying church here. The Bible say weeping may endure for a night. After a while, joy, 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 joy is coming in the morning. Isn't God all right? Oh, Lord, I'm so glad. I tell you, I'm so glad that God fixed a way that even a sinner like me might have a song of praise. He looked one day beyond all of my fault and he supplied all of my need. Is that all right? And I'm glad about it. It's that same joy, great God, that the Lord said it pleases him to give up his own son that a sinner like me 
might be blessed. Uh, do I have a witness? Uh, great God. Uh, and I don't mind uh, praising the Lord uh, because he's been that good to me. Uh, is that all right? Uh, I don't mind uh, giving my testimony uh, because he's brought me uh, from a mighty long way. Uh, I don't mind, oh Lord, a few lies being told because he looked one day beyond my fault and he supplied my need. Isn't God all right? I heard, I tell you, I heard one Friday evening they whipped him down the Via Della Rosa and up to a hill called Calvary. Is that all right? But I heard Isaiah said, Who has believed our report? And to who is the arm of the Lord revealed? He said, He'll grow up right among you as a tender plant. And as a root out of dry ground, uh, he'll have no form, uh, no calmness uh, that you should desire him. Uh, but he'll be wounded uh, for your transgression, uh, bruised uh, for our iniquity. Uh, isn't God all right? Uh, from the sixth to the ninth hour, uh, he hung on the cross. Uh, is that right? Uh, paying a debt uh, that he didn't owe uh, because I had a debt uh, that I couldn't pay. Uh, I heard uh, he hung so long uh, until the world uh, began to reel uh, and rock. Uh, I heard uh, he hung uh, so long uh, until the S-U-N uh, went on vacation. Uh, it stopped shining. Uh, he hung so long, great God, until God raised up a witness. Do I have one here? I said, God raised up a witness. Who be a witness? Who be a witness? Who be a witness for the Lord? Isn't God all right? I said, Isn't God all right? Yes. Yes, he died uh, until he raised up a witness, uh, a Roman centurion uh, standing overlooking the crowd. Uh, some were crying, uh, some were weeping, uh, some were laughing, uh, some were talking. Uh, but I heard uh, the Roman centurion uh, said, surely, uh, surely, uh, it must be uh, the Son of God. Uh, is that all right, I heard, I tell you, I heard one of the thieves said, if you are who you say you are, come on down, save yourself, and then save me too. Is that right? Let me get the story straight. I said it wasn't uh, the nails uh, that held him uh, to the cross. Uh, it wasn't the spikes uh, that held him uh, to the cross. Uh, it wasn't the spear uh, in his side uh, that held him uh, to the cross. Uh, but love, uh, I said love, uh, love, uh, love. Uh, held him there and early one Sunday morning it was love that raised him up is that right I heard I tell you I heard he will give you peace if you keep your mind on what he's done look at your neighbor and say neighbor I once was lost, uh, but now I found. Uh, I once was blind, uh, but now I see. Uh, early, uh, Sunday morning, uh, he got up. Uh, I need a witness in the house. Uh, is there anybody here uh, that know that you know uh, that something happened Sunday morning? Uh, early, uh, early, uh, Sunday morning, uh, he got up uh, with all power, uh, even in his hand. Uh, that's all right. Uh, hang on in there. Uh, 
hang on in there. It's going to be all right after a while. After a while, when this trouble is over. After a while, when the war is over. After a while, when all of God's people get together again. What a time. What a time. What a time. I don't mean any harm, but up there, up there, there's peace, no sorrow. Up there, no thieves will break in. Up there, nothing but joy. Do I have a witness? Somebody said yes. Things are changing. Is that right? But as I close, uh, let me tell you one thing. Uh, I read on a poster one day, uh, the normalcy uh, that we used to know uh, is never coming back. Uh, but look at your Bible. Uh, no matter what you're going through, uh, it ends with the content. Uh, he's coming back. Uh, he's coming back. Uh, he's coming back. Uh, isn't that all right? I said, isn't it all right? Yes. I wish I had a witness in the house. Yeah, yeah. Great God. He will supply your every need. Somebody shout hallelujah. Come on, shout it like you meant to shout it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah still. The highest praise that you can give God, there's none like him. Don't let the world rob you of your faith. Don't let the world hoodwink you. Don't let the world talk you into believing that there is no God. One thing we do know, there's a whole lot of devils around. And if there can be the devil around, you better believe it, there's a God somewhere. Come on, shout hallelujah. Will you stand with me? Will you stand with me? Will you stand with me? The moral foundation of our faith is that you still need Jesus. No matter what you're going through, you need him. If you ever met me and looked for me and couldn't find me, you haven't lost much. But if you've ever met Jesus, and lost him. You lost everything. If there's one in the house today, it's not about money, it's not about riches, it's not about fame, it's not about your glory. It's about his power and his love. And his power and his love is able to give you great peace if only you would receive it. If you're here today and you have the need, I want to invite you personally to the altar. You can come by that or you can come by In case you don't understand when you see me stand and clap my hand, it's just my way to give thanks and praises to God. At times you may think that I'm strange, when I call out my Jesus name, it's just another way to give praises to him.
that's my way to show that grades look to god